good morning. Um, I wanted to start just a little bit early so you guys can get the supplies that you need. Um, I have some weights. I have a band. I have a block. And I have a chair with a back. Um, we're going to use a chair with a back. And I also make sure that my chair has a little bit of a lower seat. So see if you can go find a chair, um, you know, anything that maybe has a little bit of a shelf that you can use. This is going to be a one hour full body bar workout. My name is Shannon Sims. Um, you've got another minute, so hopefully you can find these supplies. If you need something for your knees, we are gonna be on hands and knees today. So if you wanna grab a blanket or a pillow or even a washcloth or a towel to put under your knees to protect your knees, um, go do that. I also have my water. So always make sure you have a water, um, just so you have something near, especially with the coronavirus. It's really important that we keep our throat lubricated. Um, and a lot of times we, you know, kind of guzzle after a class, but taking little sips throughout keeps our body hydrated, keeps it really strong. Um, one way that we lose a lot of muscle is we start to dehydrate. So even just taking a sip of water, you don't have to guzzle a lot, but taking a sip of water rehydrates your body enough to actually give you more energy, more muscle, more strength. Um, so I'm a huge proponent. I know you don't see a lot of videos where the instructors are stopping and taking a drink and that's really a shame because they really should. We should be constantly um, taking little sips of water here and there to rehydrate, re-energize our bodies. All right, so you got about 30 more seconds and hopefully you're all stretched up, warmed up. We will warm up a little bit, but I don't spend a lot of time warming up so if you want to come to these videos um, i do these every tuesday every thursday 10 o'clock come a little warmed up um, we will warm up before we get down onto the ground all right so we're going to start off legs a little bit wider and just reach and extend the arms up and then exhale lower and if you want to put on some music you can put on music. I know sometimes the audio is already a little hard for you guys to hear. So if I have music in the background, it's gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Let's find three more. And two. And one, we're gonna go to the left side this time. So reach over to the left. And let's find five. And four. Three. And two, try to touch the ground. One, push your weight back into your heels, rise up onto the left toes as you extend over to the right side. And let's find three more. And two, and one. We're gonna find squats. So I want you to widen out the legs just about to the edge or the width of your mat. Bring your bottom back as much as you can. Press up and up. So we're gonna kind of open the hips. Now as you do this, a lot of times we push the thighs out. We don't want to do that. So I want you to push into the big toes, but push back into the heels, little tuck in that tailbone, and see if you can even drop the tailbone just a little bit lower. So it might come about to the calves rather than the knees. Let's find five more. Four, three, we're gonna find little pulses. Two and one. So boom, boom, up. Boom, boom, up, boom, boom, up. So one, two, up. Now again, I'm tucking my tailbone under. That tuck is really important. It keeps your lower spine out of that S curve. So I'm not compressing into the lower spine. I'm allowing the lower spine to come into neutral. Now if you're not feeling this neutral, you're not pulling that lower abdomen in enough. So do about five more of these, and four, and three. Press into the big toes, and two. That's gonna keep those knees tracking forward. Last one, hold here. So lower the tailbone down, and actually tuck the tailbone under. Stay here, five, four, three, two, one, up. Let's come back down, five, four, three, two, one, up. Five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four.
four. See, I told you we'd warm up. Three, two, one. Last one for five, four, three, two, one. Oh, already those hips are a little open. So I'm going to come to the chair. I'm going to open the hips, soft bend in the knees. Let's start off with that right leg. So I'm going to position over here so you can see me. And I'm going to just move the knee. I'm going to touch the toes down, rotate the hip. Now bend the left knee and just open the hip as much as you can. Try to keep the hips facing forward. So even though that right leg is moving out, my hips are still forward. My shoulders are still forward. Last three, two, one. Go the other direction. So pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Work on your balance. So today's focus, embrace the awkward. And right now, it's pretty awkward for a lot of us because we're not used to working out at home. Last five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna bring that knee in and out. So get it up as high as you can. This is gonna help for the next exercise. Four, 10, I know these are hard. Nine, that hip is already tired. Eight, bend the left knee more. You've got these, five more. Four, touch, touch. Three, two, one. Nice, oh, shake it out a little bit. Let's find figure eights on this right leg. So when you do this, it kind of looks like this. So I'm angling, and I'm gonna bend to the left, so I'm gonna get a little lower. That's gonna account for this low position. So if my bar is up here, I have a tendency to use different muscles. But if I have to sink down lower, I have to work that left leg as well, last three. Last two, last one. So I'm gonna have you bring this right leg around. We're gonna do the left leg in a moment, but I want you to bring the right leg so you can touch the chair. And then bring it back and point the toes back behind you. Square the hip so the hip comes back over the ground. So it's gonna be touch, extend, touch. We're gonna find 10, extend, touch. And just extend the toes out. You can lean forward a little bit. But start to pull the shoulders back a little. Reach. And reach. Last four. You've got these. And three. And two. And one. Bring that toe forward and lift lower. Lift lower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Now, if the leg is too high, if this is too hard, you can bring it down to the ground. Two, one, and we're going to take it back. We're going to forward, lift, lower, back. So we're going to combine those two. Lift, lower, and back. So lift that leg. So lift, lower, extend. Lift, lower, extend. So forward, lift, lower, Extend. Try to pull the shoulders back. Lift lower. Extend. Last five like this and rotate that right hip down. Four. And three. Come on, you've got these. And two. Last one. Hold here. Square the hips, bend the left knee. Pull your belly in and then bring your foot up just a little bit. So your toes are facing towards the edge of the ceiling where the wall and the ceiling meet. Now poke your toes up to that edge. Keep pulling your left knee in and really root into your left big toe. Hips are forward. So you're gonna feel this in that back right hamstring and that back glute. 10 more. Nine, lift. Eight, lift. Pull the belly in, shoulders are back for five, and four, and three, and two, leave it up on one. One, hold here, in, and extend. So I'm not extending the whole way out, I'm just extending part of the way, so that toe comes back. Squeeze the inner thigh on the left leg towards the right, and push into the left big toe. Now push back into the heel, so that left glute is also working. Last five. Keep that right hip down in four and three 
and two, and one. Bring that knee all the way in. Give yourself a hug on that right leg. Roll out your ankle. Oh, those are really hard. So we're gonna do the same thing, other side. Do you remember all that? All right, I do, so I hope, I hope I do. All right, so let's start off with that stretch and open that knee. You know, this is where I have to make sure I'm back far enough. Start bending into the right knee and reach your hips forward and touch the toes down. Five, lift, four, and three. Get the hip down, and two, try to touch the toes. One, and bring it back. And touch the toes as you do this. Find your balance. Push into your right big toe. You've got these. Bend your right knee more. I know the right leg is always a little tired, so it's like, I don't want to bend. Last three. And two. And one. Both sides. So it's in, out. In. And I know that leg is already getting tired. Push the hips forward. Ten. Nine. Eight, try to touch the toes. Seven, swing it around. Six, like it's going over something. Five, because it will be soon. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Bring that leg forward. I'm going to bring it all the way around. So I'm going to touch the left toes. I'm going to have to bend this right knee a little bit. And then take that leg back and extend. Bring it around. Extend back. Bring it around. Try to pull the left toes back and pull the left hip down. Bend your right knee. You know, my left leg is not as coordinated. Reach. Reach it back. Let's find five more. Reach. And four. Keep that hip down. And three. And two. Last one. Reach it forward. Lift. Keep that right knee bending. We've got 10, 9, 8. This is a lot of hip flexor. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'm going to reach back and I'm going to find that touch up, down, and back. So it's remember lift lower and back. Lift lower and back. So find a full connection. Toes, lift, toes and back, toes, lift, toes, and back. Try to push that left shoulder down as you do these. So push that left shoulder forward, lift lower, and back, lift lower, and back. Come on, we've got five more. Lift lower, and four, lift lower, and three, lift lower, and two, last one, lift lower, and one, hold it back, square that hip. Now, reach and extend the leg back a little bit. Point the toes up, bend generously into the right knee and pull the belly in. So that tailbone is still tucking. Feel your spine in neutral. If you're feeling this rounding, really hard on your back. So pull your belly button up. Straighten out, gaze forward, and poke the toes up. These are not big movements. 10, lift up. Nine, pull the belly in. Eight, seven, six, keep lifting. Five, try to poke the toe towards that point where the ceiling and the wall meet. Push into the right big toe. Three, and two, and one, hold here. In, out, in, out, lift. In, out, lift. In, out, lift. We've got them in, out, lift up. In, out, lift. In, out, lift. In, out, lift. I know these are hard. Come on, five more. In, out, four. In, out, three. In, out, two. In, out, one. Pull that knee all the way in. Grab on your knee, pull it up, straighten out your right leg, roll out your left ankle. Oh, all right, so hips are on fire, mine are on fire. If yours aren't, good for you. <laughs> so we're gonna get into the glute. We're gonna do what's 
called a Bulgarian squat. Now the Bulgarian squat is one foot is up a little bit more. So in this one, I'm gonna turn the chair around. Now as I turn the chair around, this is a great place that you can use the blocks. If you also need a table or a wall in front of you, you can use that. Okay, I'm gonna use the block to help me stabilize. And I'm gonna plant the right leg down, and I'm gonna bring the left leg down and uncurl the toes. So I don't have to come down really far. So when I do these, I want you to think about bending the knee and pointing the knee down, and then walk your right knee forward a little bit. And yes, this is awkward. So you need to come down a little bit or have that block. You can have your block. The balance on this is hard. So lowering down and then pressing through the right glute. Now I don't want to feel a ton in that back left leg, but if you are feeling a ton in that back left leg, maybe lower down a little bit more. Try to press the toes down. And just lower and up, pull the shoulders back. Let's find five more like this. And four, pressing up. And three. And two. And one. Press the hands down, straighten out that back leg. Find a little lunge here. Hold here, push the back heel down, stay here for three. And two, and again, if you need this, this is here. One, we're gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna bring that leg back. I'm gonna come up. Again, if you need a wall, stabilize on a wall, you can see I'm really shaky. This is awkward. So I'm gonna lower and lift. You're gonna feel this in this back right glute. Try to keep the shoulders lifted. Come on, we're halfway. Five more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Press yourself forward. Wow. Those are hard. I know they are. So I'm going to take that chair to the other side. If you find, too, that your chair is really challenging, like mine, and you want to put a blanket over it to protect the top of your foot, you can. So this time that left leg is going to be stable. And I'm going to find the position to the left knee and ankle line. And this right leg comes back. Now at first, you can keep the toes up, but that puts a lot of strain on the right hip flexor. So I want to try to press the toes down. Now if my knee is going over, this is where this block can be handy. And I'm going to press myself forward. Now you can also use a wall. As I come up, I want to try to keep this knee as close over the ankle as I can. So I'm going to think about lowering the back right knee. So more of the action, even though it's in the left glute, the energy is pulling down through that right knee. And you can find maybe the block or even weights will help stabilize you. We've got five more. And for pushing through that left heel, keep the left big toe rooted so it keeps your knee tracking forward. Last one. Now I'm going to bring it down. Stretch out your back right toe so you're taking any tension off of that right hip flexor. Stay here for a breath. Deep breath. Nice. Let's come up again for that second round. I'm going to uncurl the toes, come back up. We've got 10 more like this. Let's go. So that knee is coming down. I know, I'm trying to find a comfortable position on this chair. And eight. And seven. And six. And five. Push through that left heel. And four. And three. And two. And one. Press forward. Oh, okay. You should definitely be feeling those in your glutes. Let's, on that note, get a drink. Woo! <laughs> the chair. I'm going to bend my knees. Make sure your knees and your hips align. I'm going to bring the right leg up and try to touch the top of the chair. These, I'm pulling the abdomen in. So again, that tailbone is tucked. 
Heels are forward, press into the big toe. And I want to lift and lower. Try to just press with the heel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep that left knee bent. 4, 3, 2. We're going to keep it up on 1. 1, hold here. Knee up for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bring that leg down, left side. Same thing. So I'm engaging the core here. Bend your knees. Feet are slightly apart and slight tuck in that abdomen. So I'm going to try to bring that left heel up and then touch the heel down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep it up on one. Four. Three, right knee is bent, right knee toes down. Two, one, hold here. We've got ten, nine, eight. These are little crunches. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that left leg down, round your back. Stick your bottom out and then round yourself forward. Turn your chair around. Okay, so keeping that same idea, I want you to think about lifting. I'm sorry, left leg. So as I lift the left leg, the right leg is doing the work. So just like we did in our Bulgarians, I'm gonna push my bottom back and I'm gonna to try to touch the heel down. Now get your knee so your knee stays in alignment, but I'm not lowering and lifting the left leg. This left leg stays still, so if you want to, grab it with your hand. Now my heel is gonna to touch down and I'm gonna lower down and lift. Lower and lift. These are pistol squats. So my body is doing the work. My right leg is doing the work. And I'm not moving the left leg. Ten. Nine. Little tuck of the tailbone. Eight. Seven. Six. Gaze forward. Five. Try to keep that knee up. Four. So when you lower down, three. Two, one, nice. That leg is up. Okay, so again, I'm not doing this. This leg isn't moving. This leg is stationary. I'm gonna keep and show you on the other side, same thing. And this is one my students really struggle with. It's really challenging. It works the glute tremendously. If you keep that other leg up. So pull your knee in, bend your left knee. Now, when this right heel comes down, straighten out your arm and keep your knee in. Now, push down and up, down and up. So for it to come down and up, I'm not changing my arm. You've got these. Press into that left big toe, left heel. Push your bottom back, little tuck of that tailbone. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, so now you have the hang of that one. You should be feeling that in your glute. We're going to do that again. So you can grab on, you can grab onto the back of the leg. Just start to be aware that this leg that's up is not your moving leg. Now, when I say a little tuck, I'm not doing this. It's again just that tailbone is tilting down. And you can see when that happens, my lower spine is neutral, so I'm not feeling pain in my lower back, but I'm really working my glutes. So I'm gonna tuck my tailbone a little bit. I'm gonna lift, I've got slipper pants on today, so I'm gonna bring my hand underneath. Now as I do this, I can straighten, and I'm gonna try to bring that left heel down and lift. We've got it for 10, nine, Eight. Just touch the heel down. Four, six, five. We're going to find babies. Four, three. A little tuck of that tailbone. And two. And one. Lower down. See if you can keep your heel one inch off. Hold here for five. Four, three, two, one. Baby pushes. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. 
four, three, two, one, hold here, tuck, five, four, three, two, one, babies, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, pull the belly in, three, two, one, all the way up, all the way down, push the hip forward for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze the inner thighs, five, and four, three, two, one, oh, those are so hard. So I call those baby pistol squats. So those are one leg squats. You should feel as though your right glute is just puffing up when you do this. Again, I'm gonna grab this time with the right hand underneath the leg, but this arm stays straight. That way I can see if I'm moving the leg. So if it's here, I know it's gonna stay there. Now, step your left foot forward so your left knee and ankle align as much as you can. So as you come back, again, a little tuck of that tailbone, and I'm gonna bring the leg down or the heel down. Now, if you're able to bring it up higher, bring it up higher, and you might grab on to the calf. So find your variation, 10, nine, I know I was talking, you got extra on that left, four, five, four, keep that leg up, three, two, one, let's hold it here, little tuck of that tailbone for five, four, you're gonna find those babies, three, two, one, lower lift, 10, nine, make sure the left leg is working, eight, seven, six, try to touch that heel, five, four, keep it flexed, three, two, one, hold here, tuck for five, four, push into that left big toe, three, two, and one, last 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, oh, these hurt, six, five, four, three, two, one, oh, wow, right, really working into the glutes, I say we totally earned a drink on that one, you're doing amazing, awesome, mm. All right, so we're going to use our chair, and I'm going to let you sit today for some of your upper body work. Now, on your upper body work, you can sit in your chair, and you're going to grab on to your weights. A lot of times when we work our upper body, we kind of cheat by using our back and our lower body. So if you need lighter weights, or if you need to drop your weights, that's okay. Okay, so these are sometimes more challenging. Make sure your knees are forward. And if you have a block, take your block between your thighs, not your knees. This is gonna push you in position my knees forward, so I'm gonna sit up really tall. Again, my spine is in neutral the whole time. So make sure you feel your spine in neutral as you do this. Now, I'm gonna take the weight to my knees, pull your elbows down, and I want you to lift lower lift, lower. It doesn't have to be all the way up here, but if you take it up here, make sure your weights don't come away or over the shoulder. So I don't want to bring them up here. I just want to bring them right to about the shoulder. Squeeze the block if you have the block. This way I'm engaging the pelvic floor so it's lifting and it's protecting the lower back. Ten more. And nine. And eight. Seven. Six, squeeze your block, five, shoulders back, four, pull that belly in, three, and two, and one. Take those weights out to the side. So I'm going to take the weights out, and then I'm going to bend the elbows back a little bit. So the arms are going to come down and lift up. Now my elbows stay in alignment with my shoulders. So kind of like I'm flapping my wings. For eight, seven, six, five, four, draw the belly in, three, two, one. Keep those arms up if you can. I want you to press out an inch back. 
out, back. So out, back, out, back. 10, out, nine, out, eight. Keep those elbows up so the elbows and the wrists align. Now if that hurts your shoulders, bring your elbows down a little bit more. We've got four more. Out, and three, out, 90 degrees, out, two, out, last one, and out. Bring them in and up and in and up. Wrists align with those elbows unless, again, it can be down here if the shoulders are bothering you. And this is an easy one for the shoulders to get overtaxed, so know what your range is. Last three, last two, Last one, turn the palms up. Bring the elbows to the elbows, face right into the hips, and then turn those arms out a little bit. Now I'm gonna reach the elbows just an inch away from my body, and up and up. So squeeze and squeeze. Keep the fingertips facing out, and just hold with the thumbs if you can. And look down at your forearms, and make sure that your fingers are facing right over towards the side that the pinky isn't curling towards the back. So I don't want the arms coming up, nor do I want the index finger to point down. So the forearm is facing straight up. Last three. One inch out, two, and one. Hold here and out, in, out, in for 10. Nine, lift the chest. Eight, pull the belly in, seven. Six, I know a lot of shoulders, five. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Let those arms down, hang for a moment. Maybe move those weights a little side to side, round your back just a little bit. I know those are really challenging. So we're gonna stay in this seated pose. I'm gonna turn towards the side, just so you can see me as I'm here. When I do these, these are triceps. Now, a lot of times people bring their elbows all the way up here, and I wanna to try to bring the elbows down. It doesn't matter how far they come back but try to face your elbows forward so I'm keeping the protection of the shoulders in line with where the shoulders end. Sometimes when I bring heavy things out here, it puts unnecessary strain on the shoulders. Now, if you have limited mobility, I just want you to bring it down a little bit. Keep the elbows facing forward where your belly button is facing. So think about your belly button like a, you know, a light, and your shoulders should be protecting. So between the shoulders and the belly foot, you should be making this perfect triangle as you're doing this. So I'm gonna bring the back straight up, pull your belly button in, lift your arms and take them back. Let's find those hands come back towards the shoulders and lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, 10 and down, elbows up, nine and down, and eight, try to get them up. Seven, push into the feet, squeeze the block. Six, keep squeezing that block. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Bring those hands together, bring the elbows up and lift, lower, lift, lower. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, we're gonna bring them to the chest and up. Chest and up, let's speed it up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, keep squeezing the forearms towards each other, six, five, four, three, two, one, take them back. Lift, lower, lift, lower, belly pulls in, lift and lower, lift and lower. Last eight, and down. Seven, down, squeeze the block, and down. Four, five, pull the belly button in, and four, and down, and three, and down, last two, and down, last one, and down, bring those weights in, try to squeeze the forearms together if you can, weights to the chest, lift, lower, lift, lower. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Last tricep back. So bring them back up and down. Pull the belly button in. Squeeze the elbows towards each other. Elbows forward. Eight more and down. 
seven, sit tall, squeeze the block, five, and down, and four, and down, three, and down, two, and down, last one, and down, squeeze those weights towards the chest, lift lower for 10, nine, eight, forearms are squeezing, block is squeezing, last three, and two, and one, bring those weights down, nice, shake out the arms, extend yourself forward, we're going to come down to the ground, so you can take the chair away, so we're going to take the chair away, we're still going to embrace the awkward, okay, so the awkward, and I'm going to get a blanket for my back, is my back, as you can see, I kind of bruised my back rolling up and down on my mat. And this is a really hard floor, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit more cushion um, for my back. And you know that you need that to give yourself or take some time to give your lower back some cushion. So we're gonna work into the legs still a little bit more. I'm gonna get a drink. You're gonna need your weights, you're gonna need your block, and you're gonna need your bands here. Now, I'm going to come in, and we've been doing all these awkward movements. So I want you to keep embracing your awkward. Now, if you need to grab onto your mat, you can grab onto your mat. And I want you to start lifting your hips. These are actually bridges. So a lot of times you'll hear me say, keep your ribs down. This one, keep your ribs up. So on this one, I'm going to lift this right leg up. So the right leg is going to come up. The left leg is going to come down. So it's lower and squeeze. And squeeze the glutes. So lower and squeeze. Lower, squeeze. Lower, squeeze. For 10, and up. 9, up. 8, up. 7, up. 6, you've got these. 5, we're going to find babies. And 4, lift. Three, squeeze the glute. Two, lift. One, bring that knee down. So the knee is going to be in this 90 degree lift, lower. Ten, squeeze the thighs. Nine, eight, seven, six. You're going to notice it makes the hamstring work more because that foot is forward, putting pressure on the hamstring. Last three, and two. And one, lift up, leg up, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, eight, lift, nine, lift, oh, are we going the wrong direction, six, five, squeeze, four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two, squeeze, one, bring that knee in this time, lift. So point your knee towards your shoulder, push and push. Find dynamics here for 10, up, nine, up, I know these are hard, eight, up, seven, push, six, push, five, getting into the under butt, four, three, two, one, hold here, lift that leg, bring that knee so the knee aligns with the left knee. Stay here, five, lift up higher, four, three, two, one, oh, lower down. Woo, those are really hard. Okay, I know, push your lower back down, curl yourself up, decompress your back for a moment. So I'm not doing as many on those because I don't want to burn out your back. And a lot of times we do these high repetition things with our back up and that is one where your glutes and your back are working in cooperation. So I'm not going to high rep those. I know some of you are saying that 50 was a high number. <laughs> it's not a high number for me. So we're going to do that other side. This time that right leg is down. Lift the left leg and lift up as high as you can. Get up onto the shoulders and push the hips up. Now they're not out, so I'm pushing the hips straight up towards the ceiling, lower and lift. Now if you're feeling pressure in your back right hamstring, you can walk your heel in a little bit more. So you wanna really feel this in the glute. 
And we've got five. And you can point or flex. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knee. So lower, lift, lift, lift. You're gonna notice this time it's a little bit more in the hamstring because those toes are forward. Let's find five more. Lift and four, lift, three, lift, two. Come on, you got them. One, lift them up. Lower, squeeze, lower, squeeze, lower. Push through that right heel. Push up, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lower, squeeze, four more, squeeze, and three, squeeze, last two, squeeze, last one, squeeze, lift, that knee comes in, lower, lift, so pull your left knee a little towards your shoulder, eight, squeeze, seven, squeeze it, six, Ugh. five, come on, four, Lift up, three, squeeze, 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 two, last one, one, lift that leg, lift the butt, bring the leg down, let's hold here for five, four, lift up as high as you can, three, two, one, oh, lower down, Woo. grab onto both knees, lower your back down, nice job, all right, so we're going to change that up. And I'm going to have you grab on to your block or your band. Now, in my band, I'm going to take it towards the tops of my knees. I'm going to bring the bottoms of my feet together. Now, if you're not able to get your legs out and do this properly, do it without the band. You can use your weights. I'm going to have my weights near me. Some of you are going to really struggle with this. Others are not going to feel it as much, and it really depends where you're most developed. This is an area that a lot of women are not quite as developed, and I'm not going to lift my hips quite as high. So I'm not going to come up here right away. I'm going to stay down here, so I'm going to start to activate them. And this is where I want your ribs lower. So I'm going to lower and squeeze, lower and squeeze. So you're going to find these little tucks. Now this is where sometimes the weights really help because it's going to add another dimension without putting strain on the back. So the bottoms of the feet are together. I'm lifting lower. We're going to go a little faster. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So what I want to do is kind of turn on the glutes. And that's what I'm doing, basically. I'm kind of firing. So maybe you can close your eyes and notice which glute do you feel the most. Sometimes one is firing and it's doing all the work. And the other one is not firing, and it's letting maybe the right glute to do all the work, and so your left glute is sagging. What we want are level glutes. Nothing really attractive about one saggy glute and one perky glute. So it's unavoidable to have a little bit of a disproportion, but we really want to feel. So if you can, gaze straight up. I'm going to gaze towards you. But that's going to mean that I'm activating one glute a little bit more than the other. So squeeze, lower, squeeze, lower. Now try to push more of your ribs down and notice that the action of the hips has to take over here. So I'm pushing more with the hips. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're going to stay up on one. Three, two, and one. Hold here and pulse, pulse. Pulse. These are so small, so tiny. 10, lift, 9, lift, 8, really squeeze, 7, lift, 6, lift, 5, lift, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift up and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So pulse and pulse. Now push your arch into the ground. So push that ninth edge, the pinky edge. Really try to push the pinky toes down, and you're gonna activate the outer thighs a little bit more. You're gonna activate that outer side of the glute, and you might even feel that kick on, or the extension of where it feels it's connecting to the inner glute. So keep squeezing, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. These are so hard. Lift, 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 lift for 10, nine, 
Eight, if you can, gaze towards your knees. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower lift, lower lift, lower lift. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'm gonna come up a little higher. So this is where I'm gonna to start to come up onto the shoulders. If you wanna put the weights down, grab onto the side of your mat, you can. You're gonna lower and squeeze, 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 lower and squeeze. For 10, squeeze. Nine, that squeeze is so important, eight. Squeeze, seven, squeeze, maybe even squint. Squeeze, for five, squeeze, four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two, squeeze, one, hold here, push, little push, push, push. Now push the feet, push into the shoulders, gaze up, squeeze the glutes. So I'm squeezing the glutes together for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start to lower, hover. Again, more of those ribs are gonna be down. And I'm gonna tuck that tailbone a little bit. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. So this is just gonna be a high rep. If you wanna re-grab onto those weights, you're gonna grab onto those weights. We're gonna do 50 of these. So I want you to try to almost push the bottom down and really push the bottom up in the area that your hips can move. So these are like those little pelvic thrusts. Now most of my ribs are down, so I have to work my glutes a little bit more effectively. Squeeze them and squeeze, squeeze and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You've got these, keep going. So fast, kind of fast and furious, but still attentive to that squeeze. Feel the activation of which glute is firing a little bit more. We're gonna recognize that in a moment. You've got 20 more. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Keep going. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Last 10, nine, and eight. Come on, you've got these. Seven, and six, and five, come on, and four, squeeze, squeeze, for three, squeeze, squeeze, and two, squeeze, squeeze, last one, separate the feet. So this is where you can take those weights down or you can hold on to them. Toes are forward, about hip distance apart, keep the ribs down, open, and open, and open, and open, for 10, nine, eight, Seven. Keep trying to push more of the ribs down, but lift more of the glutes up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pulse it out. Pulse. Now keep your big toes down. Push, 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 push. So we just have a lot of these. Keep pushing your pubic bone forward towards the edge of your mat and keep tucking more of your ribs down towards the, the blanket, the mat, wherever you are, and lift your hips as high as you can without changing the direction of your hips. Notice, oh my God, my hamstrings are killing me. Ah. <laughs> We've got 10 more, come on, and nine, come on, and eight, seven, keep tucking, six, Tuck, tuck, five, tuck, tuck, four, pelvic thrust at one, three, come on, two, and one, we're gonna lift and out, 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 you've got these, 10 and out, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk your feet all the way to the edges. Bring your knees together.
together. So the knees are going to touch, lift lower. Yeah, so we're working the inner thigh and notice how things have changed. Toes can face a little towards each other, but don't try to draw the feet so close together that you lose the integrity of the outer hips. So keep squeezing. You're going to get outer and inner on this, which is what I love, but this really works the inner thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, and press the knees together. Lower lift. Now, a lot of my ribs are down. I don't have to over accentuate the back, and I realize that this feels awkward. Again, there's that word again. Lift, lower lift, lower lift, lower lift, lower lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, baby pulse, 10, lift, lift, 9, lift, lift, 8, lift, lift, 7, lift, squeeze those knees. So push the knees together as much as you can. Feel the force of that. For three more, lift, lift, two, lift, lift, hold here, Let's push up, one, one, one inch, one inch more than you think you have, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring your feet apart, right foot's going to step a little bit more forward than the left, lower lift, lift, now these are awkward. One foot is not level with the other. Bring it back. So that leg, right leg is forward, and I'm going to bring the hips back and forth, up and down. Ten. Lower lift. Now my ribs are still down a lot. Nine. Eight. Seven. Come on. Look at the knees. Make sure the knees are still hip distance apart. For a five. Four. We're going to stay here on one. Three. Two, and one. Push into that right foot as much as you can. See if you can lift the left and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Five more. And down. And four. Press, press. Three. Ah, two. And one. Oh, bring those feet back. Look at the knees. Step the left foot forward. Lower lift. Now notice on these, which leg do you feel a little bit more? Which glute is immediately firing up? Which one feels like it's working a little bit more? And sometimes we need to roll out our glutes. So if you get a foam roller, a tennis ball, rolling out, be careful with a tennis ball, better with a foam roller or a larger ball. But rolling the glutes, so you're not having also the backs of the hamstrings, the quads, all of these areas can create less glute activation because you have a tightness, so it's not allowed to fire. So see if you can roll out those muscles. We've got five more. Lift. Four, we're gonna find those babies. And three, more ribs down. Two, and one. Lift up, pulse, pulse. Push into that left foot. So push, push. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, I'm slipping, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold here, lift, lower the right, lift, lower the right, lift, lower the right, 5 more, keep that left hip up, and 4, ah, 3, almost done, 2, and 1, ah, oh. lower those legs, take those weights out, Take the band off. Nice, grab on your knees. Allow yourself to roll a little side to side. All right, make sure you get a drink. We're gonna work into the bleaks, but we're still gonna be working the legs. A lot of these things that we do work the core. So our core has to stay really tight. My Tuesday class is going to be intensive, intensive core. Um, my power class today is going to have quite a bit of core in it. So I recommend if you want a little bit more core, coming back for those. We're still going to work into the core on this, and this takes a lot of core stabilization. So I'm going to bring the right elbow down, right forearm down, knees stacked. Now I'm going to keep this left knee 
where it is, and I'm gonna lift the hips up, and you're gonna notice the shoulder, and I'm gonna push into this elbow so the shoulder lifts. Now I'm gonna lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. And when you're doing that, try to push into that outer left thigh, keep the right leg where it is for 10, and down, and nine, and down, press into the obliques, and down, seven, down, six, five, and four, lift, three, press, two, press, stay up on one, hold here, lower, lift, lower, lift, so the right leg is working, maybe reach the right arm over, eight, seven, if that hurts the shoulder, don't, six, five, keep going, four, and three. Oh, that left hip is hurting. Two, and one. Bring that hip down. Bring it over to the other side. Come on, we're almost done. We're gonna bring that right elbow down. You're gonna come up onto those knees. Try to stack those knees. Hips are facing forward and up. So on these first ones, I'm gonna lift this leg. Lower, press. Lower, press. Lower down, press up. Lower down, press. Let's find eight and up and seven and up. I know I'm slipping. Six and up and five and up. Four up. Three. Ah, two and one. Stay up. Hold here. Lower the left, lift. Lower the left, lift. Lower the left, lift. The left, lift. lift it up as high as you can. Five more, maybe reach. We've got, I'm sorry, eight, seven, six. You've got these, come on, five. These are so hard. Four, three, two, one. Oh my God, I don't think my hips have anything more in them. Come on to your back. So you're gonna lower down onto your back for a moment, grab onto your knees, pull your knees in towards your ribs. We have a little bit more on the abdominals. We want you to take the hands out. So spread the hands out. Bring the legs so the legs come out at about 45 degrees. Now my palms are down, my shoulders are wide, and I'm gonna bring my knees about halfway over towards the right side. Try to keep the left knee over and in line with the right knee. Bring it back to the center, and then see how this knee wants to move. Try to keep it forward. Lift. Over, so that's your stopping point. Lift. And press over. Nice. So try to keep the hips so the hips are staying in alignment. Shoulder blades staying down as much as you can. If you can, gazing up, and exhale. Bring the knees to the side, and inhale, lift. Bring the knees to the side, inhale, lift. Now, if you are somebody that does these kind of exercises all the time, and you want to take those legs out a little bit wider, see if you can keep the legs out, keep the shoulder down as much as you can, and you don't have to come all the way to the ground. Actually, that makes it a little bit easier, so find where your effort is. Then you're also getting that stretch. You might extend those legs out, Lifting the legs up on the inhale, and then exhale over towards the side. And I want you to find 10 of these to each side. You can flex the feet, inhale to the center, and then exhale going to the other side. And just see how this feels in your body. Now because of my back, I'm gonna bend my knees and try to give my back a little bit of a break. So I'm not hurting my back. If you can, try to keep as much of your back down towards the ground. Definitely trying to keep the hips fairly level, working into the strength of the abdomen. This is really getting into the oblique, but you're working a lot of the cross section of the abdomen. We don't realize that if you don't have a good cross strength in the abdomen, I have undeveloped abs or irregularly developed abs where you'll see that one person has like one section of their abs that's a little bit puffier than the others. And sometimes this is because I don't have a good cross section or a line going through the abdomen. 
About three more each side. Inhaling to the center and over to the other side. Inhaling center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one. Exhale, inhale. Nice. We're going to stay here. I'm going to press the hands in. I'm going to flex. I'm going to gaze towards my knees. Lift your head up a little bit and I want you to point flex for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep pushing. 6. Push the knees in. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay here. Lower the shoulders. Lift. Lower lift, lower, lift, maybe touching from knees to shins, knees to shins. Now come up on the exhale, push your lower back in, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last 10, exhale, inhale, come on, exhale on the up, Squeeze the lower back down. Last five. Last four. Keeping those knees together. Three or in alignment. Not touching. Last two. Squeeze. We're going to hold on one. Hold here. Hands, knees. Hands, knees. Hand, knees, shins. Knees, shins. Knees, shins. Babies. Eight. Seven. Six. Gaze up. Five. Four, oh, these are hard. Three, two, one. Oh, grab on your knees. Roll a little side to side. We're going to come up and down on the spine a little bit if that feels good. When you're ready, take your hands to the mat. Let's come into our tabletop. Let your head hang down for a moment. Just shake your head back and forth. Oh, making figure eights with the head. Curl your toes, glide yourself back into downward facing, and start to scissor your knees. When you're ready, walking yourself forward a little bit. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Hamstrings might be really tight here. Take the head down, take the hands to the elbows, and shake your head back and forth like you're saying no. Let everything hang down like a rag doll, moving the body a little side to side. And taking your hands towards your shins, gaze forward, halfway, lift. Exhale, think about bending and bowing. Bring those elbows down and slowly start to roll yourself up a vertebra at a time. Oh, nice job. Chin in towards your chest. Reach your arms up. Take your hands down to your heart. We're going to bring those arms up. So let's stretch into our side body. Feet are just a little bit wider than the hips. Lower your right arm down and walk your hand down your side. And just stretching in like you're leaning your left ribs up against a wall. And just keep kind of pushing into that outer left arch. Maybe even rolling to the outside of the arch. And you can see the bottom of my left foot is coming up. And when you're ready, bring that left arm down. Slowly come back into the center. You're going to feel a tightness on the right, so let's level that out. That right arm is going to reach towards the left, and I'm going to walk the fingers down. And as my body opens up, I might open up the bottom of that foot. Keep pushing your right hip over towards the wall. Maybe walking the fingers down a little bit more. Breathing into those spaces. On your inhale, coming up, let's ride all down. Take your chin in towards your chest and just start letting everything hang down. Let the hands come down as much as you can. Hands might grab the elbows. If you can, straighten the legs. If not, bend your knees. And let's take the hands to the back of the head and just massage down the back of the neck. And just doing this a few times, giving yourself a little bit of self-love. Oh, shake your head back and forth and up and down. Yes, that was a great class, but I'm so glad I'm done. Slowly coming up, chin in towards your chest. Oh, reach the arms up, take your hands to your heart. Good work, good job. All right, we are in this together for a solid month. And we know that that's a non-questionable variable. Okay, we, we've taken the question out of it. 
One month to a better you. One month to a stronger you. Um, any suggestions? Any recommendations you want to see? Things you want to do? I highly recommend doing this with your friends. So make a habit. Get into the habit of doing this with your friends. You can FaceTime them. You can have your supplies ready every Tuesday, every Thursday, 10 o'clock. I'm going to be here. Um, we're in this together. We can be in amazing shape. We can keep our minds strong, but we got to do by keeping our bodies strong as well. I love you guys. Please comment, share. If you're able to, donate. If you're not, then share it. All right, thank you so much, and I will see you next Tuesday.